Welcome back to another episode of We the People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer and former sheriff's deputy. I have a bit of a unique, weird, different type of video to share with you guys today. And in this video, I need your help and maybe you guys can help me out. Now, this video, this is the Dayton Police Department located in Ohio that actually arrive on scene to a fist fight that they tell the two individuals that are engaged in the fight that it's okay to actually fight due to mutual combat. But to my understanding, there's only two states in the entire country that actually uh, uh, allow or have laws that allow, fully allow mutual combat, and that is Texas and Washington. The problem is after the police give these guys the okay to move forward, what happens next has me baffled. Even outside of the altercation, which is baffling enough. Now, the background on that really quick, and let's jump into this video, is that one, these are two brothers. One brother scammed another brother out of five grand. And I can understand that. I think I'll be a little, little upset as well. But this is why they're fighting. Let's watch the video. Leave your thoughts down below. Mutual fight. Ain't nothing they can do. Out, Ain't nothing they can do. Right. It's a mutual fight. Let's go. Let's go, man. Hey. I'm going to I don't care about you, man. Back up. Hey, hey, nobody calls you. Somebody did. I don't care. What's the deal? I don't care. 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 Yeah, I'm not even on that call. I don't care, bro. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care who called you. That's what you don't understand. I don't care who called you. Can I, if, if y'all don't care, I don't care, I don't care about that. We can go ahead. Like I said, some mutual yeah. fight. You don't have to do nothing. Yeah, get, uh, get it that's a mutual fight. I don't want that to happen. Yeah. So I'm gonna get it. Unless he press charge, that's just, the only reason that happened. Yeah. Tell him to leave. You good? Is that, is that cool? I know it's cool. Let's go ahead. Let's go. I know it's cool. I mean, what, what, so here, here's the thing. I'm not going to. I'm not going to condone. No, they gonna have to arrest us if they oh, witness it. Tell them to leave. I know. I'm not. I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to say. If they see us fight, they got to arrest us. Tell them to leave. Tell them to leave. I don't but, give a fuck about the police. But, Tell them to leave. I know the law. Okay. I don't care. I don't want to hear what you got to say, bro. Out, no, okay. Man. I'm trying not to I'm take anyone to jail, bro. Out, so, here's what I'll tell you. I've been to I've been to I've been you just have to just get it. Y'all can go. Ain't no problem here. Right. Unless he, here's what I'll tell you. Unless he say assault, y'all ain't got no reason to be here. Mutual combat's not illegal. It's not illegal to yeah, fight. Mutual combat's not illegal. It's not illegal to yeah, fight. Yeah, it ain't illegal. Day. So bye. If y'all win this shit, y'all got to arrest yeah. us. I know the law. Bye. But here's, here's I the want them. I don't want anyone getting hurt, and we got to come back out ain't here. Ain't nobody going to get hurt. But him. But him. Ain't nobody gonna get hurt. Hey, stay right there on the corner. So, not illegal to fight. Not illegal to fight. I'm telling you. I know it's not. You ain't gotta tell us. Don't Bye. fight. Bye. You okay. wanna say us up? He don't wanna say us up. Bye. We don't, don't need y'all. My only complaint. We is, don't need y'all. Is, is y'all got neighbors we, out here calling the police? We don't need y'all. That's my only. That's my only complaint. The same uh, neighbors that been fighting. We don't need y'all. Nobody got no complaint. See y'all later. Thank you. What's your name? Officer what? Oh. Officer, what? Yeah. All right, y'all can have a good evening. Okay. We don't need y'all. All right, no guns, nothing like that. No, no, nope. no, ma'am. We don't answer questions. Bye. We don't need y'all. What's your name? You gotta identify yourself. You're a police officer. You're a public servant. Identify yourself. My problem is with that man. We don't need y'all. Y'all can leave. Like I said, are you willing to follow up the complaint? Y'all take it up with him, but I'm not. So what I can agree with. With the officers in this case, section 2917.11 of the Ohio Revised Code states that no person shall recklessly cause inconvenience, annoyance, or alarm to another by doing any of the following. And the first thing it lists is engaging in fighting. So what I just read was the disorderly conduct law. So at this point, yeah, he could probably be arrested for disorderly conduct. But as we watch the video, disorderly conduct is not what they're going to arrest him for. Let's keep going. You ain't got to. No, don't address me. I already told them to leave. We don't need y'all. No, everybody else here. Agree with me. We don't need y'all here. We don't need y'all here. I don't care. I don't care. We don't need y'all. 
Identify yourself before you talk to me. Identify yourself. Okay, well, bond. You know that's a part of your penal code. You know that's a part of your penal code. No, he didn't. You know, no, I don't care. Arrest me. And I'm going to sue you. Go ahead, try it. Go ahead, go and get your penal code. I want you to. I don't care. You can't arrest me for being loud. Bye. Bye. Okay. Uh, we don't need y'all. I told you. We don't need y'all. No, it don't matter. Don't ask questions. We don't answer questions. No, it don't matter. Where do you guys stay at? No, they don't have to answer questions. I'm not talking to you. No, they don't have to answer questions. Don't answer shit. If you don't say this part of the complex, you need to leave. No, no, we don't have to. You do. We, we don't have to. No, we don't. We don't have to address you. We ask you to leave multiple times. We don't, we don't ask you to leave multiple times. Get your supervisor here. We're not going to do this. Either y'all leave or get your supervisor here. Because you're going against the penal code. We're going to stay here. And you're going to check him? Because people are being loud. Okay. Okay, so we calm now. can handle it differently. Nobody said sure. nothing. Nobody said nothing. But here's the problem. No, no, it's not a problem. problem. Leave. Right. We're not loud no more. People in the department should be able to sleep peacefully. You're right. Go Leave. On. We're not We're not loud no more. We don't need you. Just I don't have to. You don't, you're right. But don't talk to us. We don't need you. If you don't live here. You you're a public go. servant. We do not need you. I promise you. you don't live here. You need to go. Okay, call your supervisor. For what? Call your supervisor. Because we don't, we don't have to tell you that. Can you please get in the car? No. Be quiet, please. I need you to get in the car. Bro, right. Toddy, be quiet, please. Did you guys have cars? Okay. If you don't live here, you are parked yeah, in a private that's tailway. Why, that's it's why. not a private tailway to oh. if you live here. There's a sign right there. No, people live here. You if you're moving in, you, you can park right here. Yeah, yeah. Actually, if you live here, you can park right here. Call the supervisor. Guys, if one of you guys live call here, us, call, no, us, call the supervisor, anything. man. So if you live here, I suggest call the supervisor. Park. Call your supervisor, man. You're the police. Now, we, now you give us our stuff, you get your stuff. It's simple. I would have never touched your stuff. You would have sent our stuff. It's that simple. I requested a supervisor. Now I want to. He's snitching. I got. I got to talk to a supervisor, man. What do you need to talk to supervisor about? Because it's penal code, and that's what you swore to, is it not? We're not calling a supervisor out here. Are y'all saying that's not penal code? want to talk to a supervisor. No. If I ask for a supervisor, y'all not supposed to call him. Depends on what you want. No. It doesn't matter. I don't have to tell you. It's private. It's private. You, you, you whack as fuck. Yeah, that's all I ever wanted. Send our shit then. No, bro. No, bro. No, bro. Bro, move. And at this point is where I began to question because they did not initially arrest him for disorderly conduct, although they could have. Um, but now that he goes to engage, well, what they believe he is engaging in is mutual combat, which they have said to him twice that it was not illegal for him to do. Although the law says it is illegal for them to do, the police officers on scene have advised the citizens that it is okay to fight. Just another example showing that the police officers are not fully understanding the law in this case. Attorney James L. Arson, I wanna read what he says about mutual combat in the state of Ohio. He says, in Ohio, as in many states, consenting to a physical fight does not necessarily make it legal. Even if both parties agree to a fist fight, it can still be considered a breach of the peace or a violation of public order laws. If a fight results in a significant injury, both parties could face legal consequences, including charges of assault. It is important to consider that law enforcement and the courts may not view the mutual consent as a valid defense in such cases. But in this case, law enforcement told them they could fight. And now that he goes over, which appears that he's about to fight, but things kind of take a quick change here and I get confused. It appears they're about to fight. It doesn't look like they're fighting at the end, but listen to what they're saying and then we'll kind of talk about it more here in a second. so this is where i get a little confused um while they actually had the right to go ahead and make an arrest because I could agree. At some point, he was disorderly. He's screaming, he's loud, and it's according to the state law, 
it's during the process of him trying to fight, which is a violation of the state law causing disorderly conduct because those around uh, his neighbors, he's disturbing. At that point, the police could have arrested him. But when he went to go do what it appears that they said he could do, and that is engage in mutual combat, although the state law said he, that he couldn't, but the cops stated they could. So to their understanding, he's not breaking any laws. So when he goes to follow their directions, um, and even when him and his brother, I think they're making up here, or maybe they're fighting, I'm not sure, but they're telling each other that they love each other. And you hear the one brother saying he's cool. All right. It could have been their way of making up. But what's weird is why now cops, why arrest him now? <laughs> arrest him at the point where you can legally do so. At this point, it appears they may possibly be saying, sorry, I love you. Let's make up. Oh, now let's arrest him. It makes no sense to me. What do you guys think? I could be seeing this the wrong way, but what do you guys think? He pissed me off. He's pissing me off. He's pissing me off. What else needs to be taken? Trans, whatever. I have no clue. I'm assuming it's all the shoes or his. He got he got their money and he and he got his shoes. They live together in this building. Uh, I figured as much. Yeah. I figured as much. And he won't send their money, so that's what they meant. That's what they meant. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We've been out here for way too long. Over how, how long? That can just be sent to it, like two hours probably. Really? No, just said it was cool. Don't just sit away. Yeah. Fuck yeah, we just fought. Nigga, get off of me. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, call your supervisor. I'm gonna sue the fuck out of you. I'm gonna sue the fuck out of you. You better leave me alone. And man, what the fuck is up And man, calm your ass down. These can come off. No. But we're done. No, no. You can't arrest us for nothing. Yeah, just chill. I'm gonna show you. You can call my son. I'm gonna show you. You're not gonna keep fucking up on me. No, fuck you, nigga. I told you to call your supervisor. Yeah, he's on Listen, his way. I'm going to sue your ass. Hell, Let me go. I just said Get it was cool to fight. Get in the car. Not getting nowhere. Get in the car. That should have called your supervisor. Yeah, he's on his way out. Don't Fuck worry. you. No. You have no right. The tree like a fucking... So the moral of the story is if you do not do what the cops tell you to do, you will be arrested. And if you do what the cops tell you to do, you will be arrested. So there's no way out of it. So I, I, I'm confused with this one. The cops are telling them that mutual combat is legal and they can fight. But I can't find anything that clearly tells me that mutual combat is legal in the state of Ohio. But in the minds of the cops, they said it's legal. They believe it's legal. The guy pursues to follow a legal action, according to the police officers, and then they arrest him in the process of him telling his brother and his brother telling him that they love each other. This just was a little weird to me, a little confusing. Um, I want to know your thoughts, but I guess the overall message is, you know, you just can never take a cop's word as we already know. Even if they say, Hey, it's legal. You can do it. They still, they may still arrest you afterwards. Yeah. Weird. Listen, always know your rights. Make sure you guys continue to record the police. With that being said, we, the people university signing off. Be sure to visit WeThePeopleUniversity.com where you can find our latest YouTube videos, more about myself, why I left the police department, merch, and more. If you have a police encounter that you would like highlighted, visit our website and click the Submit Videos tab. Fill out the video form submission so that we can hold these tyrants accountable. And if you guys still haven't purchased my book, Living in the Royal Tyranny, you can do so at WeThePeopleUniversity.com by clicking Digital Copy to read it right on your phone, or you can buy the hard copy or the paperback directly from Amazon. Also, be sure to pick up your free ebook to give you tips and tricks on how to deal with cops when you encounter them. And for those of you who are still trying to learn your basic rights, register for our course to learn how to deal with police so that your rights are not violated when you encounter cops. All this and more at wethepeopleuniversity.com.